I was born uh, in Blues Creek, a little town in North Carolina. I, I uh, liked music better than anything. I've always liked it in, in, in groups and so forth. Uh, even as, as a child, I loved the music better. I wanted to let them know that uh, I could play play football as small as I was, and then sing in the glee club too. Save this a bit. Where's that? Oh, he's in there going to sleep. You can come in and get him in a minute. Don't you make no mistakes. Last time you told us that he liked to ruin us. <clears throat> I sure am glad this is over. Uh, the boys is here. Can we come in and wait? Yeah, you might as well. What you doing here? Get out of my house. All right, boys. Now you stay away from me. You knows what I've done to you before. Bring him along, boys. You can't do this to Samson. Oh, no. We done done it. Naked in the church. Oh, yeah, through more Charles Ann's uh, pictures than anybody's ever seen. Yelling, wanna this and wanna that. I've come again to visit you, my friend. Friend! Not friend! I was a witch doctor, and I had on my witch doctor costume, you know, and so forth. The, the three lions were down in the pit, and I was pointing down in the pit. They threw him down there. And for some reason or other, Tarzan and I got got to fighting up there, and both of us fell kaplunk down there most the three lions, one there, there, and there. Lions, great big toes standing out there. Boy, that's a scary thing. And every time you raise your head up, look at these lions looking right down at you, you know, and I take that. And so and wife's mother said to me, she said, what you thinking about, Jester? I said, well, if you want the truth, I was just praying that if they decide to eat one of us, that their preference today is white meat. <laughs> I said, I hope they like white meat instead of dark meat today. Finch, I'm Spence, Tom's father. 
Jethro? Y is that you? Yes, sir, General, this is me. Well, how does it happen you're still alive? You had white hair when I was a little boy, and now we look like we're about the same age. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I've been a temperate and God-fearing man all my life, sir. <laughs> <laughs> This whole family is being sold today on this auction block. And so uh, one man comes up and he buys this woman. He, the man doesn't want the baby, you see. And so she has to take her baby and give it to her oldest child and say goodbye to her children, to the girls, to her husband, and to these boys. So she steps down, leaves this family never to see them again in life. That's slavery. That's what they, the blacks had to go through. Their legs are chained, and then one long chain goes through this way uh, to keep them from running away. So they have to pull and, and synchronize their walks. And she starts with this song like this. I want Jesus to walk with. The girls represent this woman leaving her family, the Sopranos. So they're dragging her too, and after a while, she's so exhausted physically and emotionally that she just staggers, you see? And then we say, walk with me. I, I put staggering notes in here, and they go like this. Walk with me, O oh Lord. Walk, oh Lord. Walk with me, O oh Lord. Walk, oh Lord. And so forth, you see? And so she's staggering along, staggering along. And finally, she gets so, she's so emotionally and so physically wrought up and tired, exhausted, that she falls down. And as she falls down, he has no mercy on her at all. To him, she's inventory, just like the cows or the sheep on his, fa on his farm. And he kicks her, says, get off now, you black wench, and you've got to go. And he, when he hits her, she says this, give us the key. The girls, the girls represent this same woman. Come on, girls. Leading, leading to this white guard to come and help her down on the ground and this man kicking her like that. Came me, Josh. Can you? That's right. That man wasn't there. Why can't you cheat? Cheating? Why, that's an insult, and I ought to ask you to step outside. Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Then after cheating, you wouldn't notice. <laughs> oh, you carry the big theme of this song. You stress the word begat, and keep stressing it. He said, give me my cane. He said, give me my hat. The oh, time God. has come.
That's what I want. I was... <laughs> oh, yes. Here we go. I am seeking for a city. Hallelujah. I am seeking for a city. Hallelujah. For a city into the kingdom. Hallelujah. For to join that holy number, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I don't feel no ways tired, children, oh, glory, hallelujah, for I hope to shout glory when this world is on fire children oh glory hallelujah and it's something that white audiences can't resist and i can give it in a catholic church and they, by the time i get through the second course all the catholics are doing <laughs> i said look at them come <laughs> father flanagan go run me out of here <laughs> first thing that I think of is his smile and then his hands because they're both so expressive and both of them combine with his music to just show his heart and I love the man. Singing Negro Spirits, you don't have to be black to sing them, just get in there and put your heart in there and sing them. We need to preserve these great heritages that exist in our own society. We don't want to be a melting pot to the point that we lose everything that has flavored us for so many years. And that's been Jester's personal mission, is to keep that spirit alive from the generations that he's not that far removed from who are actually slaves. And now I'm involved with uh, trying to bring out the beauty in the songs and what the songs meant to the people. I always include a Jester Harrison in my programming, always. And Jester lived for one reason, if not for any other, and that is to keep the spiritual and other secular pieces of the, of the era before the singing public. I just hope that conductors and choral people in schools and universities will look at that repertory and never let it die. I pray over these songs and pray that God will, will uh, give me some insight as to what was in the minds of the slaves when they created certain songs, you know, what experiences were they going through experiencing. I prayed for the opportunity. The more I've gotten into these spirituals, uh, there's so much a part of me that, that I have prayed for the opportunity of, of taking them as far as I can around the world as long as God let me live. <laughs>